Stop, Sean. Hey, man, how you doing? Hey, I got all kind of respect for you. Same what here, you've man. Done over there. Oh, hey, you're doing an awesome job. Oh. Same thing. Appreciate it. Appreciate that. You've done a great job. And great. You know, what you did in New England, and you're a great coach, man. So. No, I appreciate that. The flashbacks and comparisons were inevitable. Brian Flores was a key member of the Patriots staff that stymied Sean McVay's offense two years ago in Super Bowl 53. Back then, New England kept Jared Goff in the pocket, under pressure, and unsure. Jim, you tell me who's coming, who's not. You can't determine who's the down lineman and who's pressuring or not, and he feels that. The pillars of the Dolphins' game plan were similar. Swarm around the line of scrimmage, exhibit aggression, and cause confusion. Penalty marker comes in for a false start. You can watch a game and see um, that a quarterback it feels, you know, feels us. You apply some pressure, force them to do some other things offensively maybe they didn't want to do. The Dolphins are bringing zero pressure. Not zero pressure as in no pressure, cover zero pressure. In the Super Bowl, the Patriots used it to produce one of the game's biggest plays. They went with man-to-man -man coverage in the defensive backfield with no safety help and showed seven up front against only six blockers for the Rams. Deron Harmon came in untouched, forcing an interception. What a call by Brian Flores. Pressure on number 16. He threw him enough. We finally got him. Great call. Great call, Matt. This time, the spirit was the same, but the wrinkles were different. Empty set here. Back to throw again. Pressure from his left. Intercepted right in the middle of the field by Christian Wilkins. In the first quarter, Flores gave Goff a cover zero pressure look. Five defensive backs playing man coverage against five receivers, and six Dolphins on the line of scrimmage against only five blockers for the Rams. Like in the Super Bowl, a rusher came in untouched, defensive end Emmanuel Ogba. But big defensive tackle Christian Wilkins did something Goff didn't expect. He's a down lineman. You're expecting him to rush. Popping straight back, and Jared Goff just never saw him. Still, Miami's offense struggled under first-time starter Tua Tungovailoa. And a turnover inside its okay. 20 put the Rams in position to take control. Fumble! Recovered by the Rams. It also set up the game's turning point. Rams start this drive in the red zone. Second down and goal from the nine. Seven all Dolphins and Rams. Go! Back to score. It's, hit. it's a fumble. The ball's on the ground. It's Van Ginkle going to the end zone. Nobody's going to catch him. The Dolphins take the lead. What a defensive play by the Dolphins. Get stuck in a bad situation, so we're going to get it back knowing that we're going to score. Hey, that's perfect right there, Phil. That's perfect. Again, the Dolphins had six on the line to the Rams' five. Earlier, Flores combined pressure with the illusion of pressure, dropping a down lineman into coverage. This time, the pressure was pure and on target. Keith's game just attacked Jared Goff. I was surprised they left me on block, but um, I just went as fast as I can. I just saw the ball center there, so I just kind of went for the ball. Goff never saw it. No, Jared Goff never saw Ogba coming from his right side, and Ogba just ran through him and knocked that football out. That was zero pressure. Man, oh, man, you know, he has to get the ball out fast because there's an unblocked player, and it was a lot. And it was uh, a little crazy to look at because I was like, man, this is, you know, this is crazy. You know, they go keep zero on us like that. To be honest with you, I've never seen that before that many times. Were there things you saw that were based on the stuff that they did in the Super Bowl? Had some different things where, you know, they've, they've always been a part of their identity has been the zero pressure, but, uh, you know, they, they did a great job today. It, it didn't have anything to do with the Super Bowl. McVay is right, of course. This wasn't about the playbook from the Super Bowl. As the Dolphins forced two more turnovers, it became clear this was about Brian Flores' philosophy, his creativity, and how he's using them to make his mark in Miami. The Miami Dolphins, with an impressive defensive performance, wreaking havoc on Jared Goff. Y'all see the score? You see the record? We different than last year. We coming different. 
Man, we told y'all we on the map right now.